I am like really tired. I'm going off of like four hours of sleep. <laughs> so don't mind my tired face right now. I am currently going to pick up a friend right now. So a little bit of a road trip. I am excited. It's kind of a rainy day. So got my raincoat and everything. And oh my goodness, I look so tired. I look so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I have my coffee. Um, <clears throat> I had a group project last night and so I stayed up until about 5, 5 in the morning or 5.30 in the morning. I don't know, I couldn't really sleep. I was just doing so much schoolwork because it's kind of like the end of semester kind of. Um, so there's lots of papers due, there's lots of tests. I have an exam tomorrow. So I've just been really, really busy with just getting schoolwork done. So yeah, that was kind of rough. So I went to bed around 5.30 and then I woke up at like 9. Um, and then kind of got ready to leave and go. But it'll be fun. Now, I absolutely love having an electric car, of course. There's no expenses for gas. I have free supercharging for life, which is really, really cool. However, the one downside I would say is just if you're in a rush trying to get somewhere quickly, especially like if it's long distances, it's kind of rough in a sense when you just, like I am a person who has a lot of anxiety and I'm really bad with timing and time management. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you guys know that already. But so whenever I'm trying to get somewhere super, super quick, it's really difficult with an electric car because you are forced to stop and charge. And like it tells me that there's 30 minutes left. Um, just quite a long time like I don't have 30 minutes to wait I gotta get there and get back I have a project um, at 5 with my group I have to meet on um, like a zoom meeting and so I'm kind of in a rush today today is kind of a packed day which is rough packed day going at four hours of sleep coffee is gonna be my best friend today I swear Tim Hortons you're my best friend today <laughs> anyways I hope you guys are all doing well I am doing so much better just trying to get through the days, get through life, if you will. Um, but I am 100% COVID free and recovered. And now I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things, get back into school, dealing with um, just trying to stay focused and concentrated on that. Um, and at the same time, I'm trying to post uh, some videos and trying to get some things out because I know a lot of you have requested some videos. Um, so I'm trying to do that at the same time, but guys, I'm struggling. I'm having a rough time, actually. <laughs> I'm like really, really struggling. I'm very tired and um, just concentration-wise, like I've just been struggling with trying to focus and just concentrate on certain tasks or certain things and it's been really difficult. I don't know if that's because of COVID or what. No, probably not. I mean, it could be from ADHD, um, but it's just like extra bad lately. And, um, yeah, I don't know why. It's life. It's a struggle. I feel like a lot of people are going through that right now. Um, right now they're talking about a lot of, like in Montreal, there's a lot of different variants going where I live at the moment. And they're talking about a third wave, which is crazy. They just opened up the gyms. So I'm a little bit confused. They're talking about a third wave, but they're opening up gyms and like museums are open right now and theaters are open right now. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy about the gyms. Like I'm definitely going back to the gym. I think that that's going to get me back on track, but it's just interesting that they're opening these things up, even though they're thinking about that there's going to be a third wave. And I was reading um, the cases yesterday. I think there was like a thousand new cases reported yesterday, which is pretty high for, for Quebec um, and for Montreal. So yeah, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm a bit, um, <clears throat> Sorry, jeez Louise. I'd be fearful of like what's gonna happen, if they're gonna enforce more restrictions. I don't know, but I guess we'll see. This will try and be as optimistic as possible. I'll try my best, but uh, yeah, it's been rough. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'll show you guys a little bit of my road trip. I'm at 80% now, so I have confidence that I will have enough to get there and back. Yeah, for sure. Enough to get there and back. Okay, so I'll let you guys go with that, and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye! I've always had issues just trying to slow my mind down and keep myself calm 
and present in the moment. I've always tried to obtain peace and tranquility, but it's been a struggle with mine. mine. And this trip just kind of helped me bring me back to my center and just to be present in the moment. I was so blessed to have a really good, an old friend of mine invite me to this cottage for the weekend. It's absolutely beautiful and what I needed, I just needed a little bit of a mental break and this definitely was it. Nature it was just beautiful. The outdoors and the woods by the beautiful little creek. relaxing but this place is super calm and relaxing you see I'm, I'm pretty tired but honestly gorgeous look at this gorgeous that it goes by quick because six almost went by in a flash for me I am it goes by quick that's of course I'm filming it all I don't know how long I should